Hi. Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are at the Pendixie Fossil Park today. What are we looking for? So like trilobites, De Devonian age fossils. Devonian age fossils like brachiopods and mm -hmm. uh, what do you say, crinoids? Crinoids. No, trilobites. Trilobites. <laughs> <laughs> and corals. So hopefully we do really well. We'll see. And hoping for a good day. All right, let's get going. Let's go. So what are you doing, Cora? So this is a trilobite head right here. See the mm -hmm. kind of dotted thing? That, that's a trilobite head. So I'm trying to get, get it out of the shale um, see, I can, I can tell that shale because it's like layered, mm -hmm. so a lot, a lot of this stuff is in shale. I can actually... It breaks I, pretty easily, right? Yeah. See, look, that, that just popped out. That's a horn coral. Mm-hmm. See, kind of looks like a horn coral. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm trying to get the fossils out of the shale and here's and, and they're just all over the place here's two triangle bite heads cool in the same rock it actually looks so, like a body right yeah could be so, so what type of equipment are you using to get them out my so my dad got me this pickaxe okay and you so, have your safety goggles on because that's important yeah right definitely because you don't want rocks flying in your eyes no <laughs> yeah so you just want to Flip it over. And you break it right off just like that. What are you working on? I'm breaking rocks. You're breaking rocks? Yes. Do you find anything good today yet? Yeah, I'm finding Ooh, things like a... this. Uh, oh, another horn coral? Horn coral. Uh huh. I just got a little, little bit out. Little head. So when I find, uh, find them in the you know, they're exposed this much. I want to try to break away the you know, the natural break in the in the rock around the fossil to expose more of it. Very cool. So. So we are back in Pennsylvania from Penn Dixie, and here are some of the highlights of our finds. We spent almost four hours there. We could have spent longer, to be honest with you. Um, we were really pleased uh, having driven five and a half hours to go. Um, it was awesome. So this is the uh, identification paper that they give you upon arrival. Most people um, only use what they have. They surface hunt, they use a trowel and a bucket, but I would definitely recommend um, bringing safety glasses, a chisel and a hammer to get uh, some of the more serious stuff. To give you an example of what you can find if you get a little more serious, this is a cephalopod. A squid. Um, these are actually pretty darn rare and someone who was working in a pit gave it to us which was awesome. Um, these are uh, horn coral but they call them the devil's toenails uh, locally up there. So um, this one's really a good example. You can see uh, the coral. So the coral would have grown like this and would have had tentacles above. Um, you have to remember this is Devonian era fossils so these are all sea creatures. Um, these are brachiopods, so we got like these guys over here, and uh, these are also um, some brachiopods. A really good example there with a big plate of them. Um, but really, what Pendixie is known for is trilobites. So that's what this guy is, or this is his back end or his trilobut. And there is a trilobite head. See right here. In the front um it's pretty rare to find whole ones but you will find plenty of pieces which for us coming from pennsylvania was exciting enough we just don't find trilobites that often in pennsylvania um we see plenty of corals and brachiopods but not uh not this type of coral certainly and not trilobites and that's because in pennsylvania we have a shallow sea situation where this is more of a deep sea situation so um definitely worth it to go up to Penn Dixie. Um, I, again, would recommend uh, bringing safety glasses, uh, a, a hammer, uh, and something to split rock because you're going to find a lot better things. Um, but, you know, if you're just an amateur, it's, obvious, it's a really great place for even very young children. You can just walk around and pick things up off the ground. Definitely worth a five and a half, drive, uh, half hour drive from Pennsylvania, and we can't wait to get back up for the 
dig with the expert, which we hear is absolutely phenomenal. So uh, that's Pendixie.